Hey friend and welcome in this new tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to create a JTable in Java Swing and how to add data from JText and Combo Box into a JTable. So without wasting time, let's get started. So I'll go there and create a new, a new project. I'm using NetBeans. So I click right there, click on Java, then Java application, and click next. Okay, let's call it JTable Demo. This is my project name. Then click on finish. My project is created. I click on source package and right click on source package. New JFrame form. Okay, so I'll leave the name like that. New JFrame, okay. Then finish. Okay, this is created. I will resize it a little bit to get it bigger. Then I'll start adding my UI element. Okay, I start with a level. Right click. Edit text. Then I write uh, J table operations. I'll change the font a little bit right here. I get it a little bit bigger and bold. Okay. Then I'll add a table. Okay. I click on table. I drag and drop it right here. I will size it a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Then I'll add some levels again. Okay. Let's say right click, edit text, and call it name. I copy paste, right click, edit text, okay, right click, edit text, edge, then copy paste, right click, edit text, country, okay, I select both. Then font right here, bold and 12. Okay. Then I'll take some text field. I drag and drop one text field there. Right click, edit text, I'll remove the text. Then copy, paste, control C, control V again. Very good. Now the only thing that you need to add again is button. Okay, the adding the session button. Right click, edit text, right add. I click on the button, font again, bold 12. Very good. So what I want to do is whenever I click on add, the data which should be here be added to my table. A three text field here, I should have three columns in my table. I right click, right click and table contains. I click on column. I have by default four columns. So I, I, I delete one. I have three columns now and I'll start renaming my columns. Okay. You can just double click on the title and change name I do the same the second age same for country perfect okay then on rows 
these are the default rows. I don't want it, so I'll, I'll write zero. And close. Very good. Now I'll start the actual coding. Now I'll start the actual coding. Whenever you give some information and click on add, the information will be added in our table. So I'll double click on add. Okay. Then I type default table model. Okay, it shows error. You hit Alt and Enter. Add import for Java swing table default table model. You click here. Then model is equal to default table model. And my table name okay this is my table and the name is j table one okay j table one so I type j table one I think the spelling is the same yeah j table one j should should, should not be capital small j okay j table one dot get model perfect okay there is a spelling mistake here the t of table should be capital perfect now you write model dot add rule this is the, me the method that we use to add data okay this is the, me the method that we use to add data into a table okay model dot add row then new object then inside here i'll add my three text text field okay So the first one is name. It's J text field one. The second is J text field three, and the third one is J text field two. Before proceeding, I'll start by renaming my text field. Change variable name. This is name text field. The second one age text field. And the third one is country text field. Perfect. So right here we have the first one which is name text field dot get text. Okay. Then edge text field that gets text and finally country text field that get text done okay let's try to see if it's it works okay let's say anything a a 45 since i'm in india i'll just write india and it works as you can see this data is added there but i don't want the country to be given into a text field. I want it to be in a combo box. So I'll replace my text field with a combo box. 
okay let's comment this line and delete this and save and take it on board drag it and drop very good and now we change the values here so right India USA China Spain Nigeria Congo okay now in the code let's rename our combo box the name is J combo box one let's change the variable name and call it country country CB for country combo box okay now write country CB dot get selected item dot to string so this will take the selected item and it converts it into a string and adds into our J table okay let's try and see if it works so we have a a seven eight India and it works perfectly they change and write Spain right there BBB 57 it works perfect now the next step is we'll try to create a button that can be used to delete something let's say I, I don't want this I want to delete it so I'll add one more button here to delete that let's do it okay so we'll just add one more button or we can just copy and paste the same okay we'll change variable name Okay. Delete button and edit text. Delete. Now, once we select a row and click on delete, the row will be deleted. So we double click on the delete button. and we repeat the same line you can, you can just copy paste this line from the insert method you just copy it and paste in the delete method and you use the same name you know this is model you write model dot remove row as you can see here we, we, we wrote add row to insert and to delete we, we use dot remove row okay and here you write the table name so the table is j j table one okay j table one okay you write the same j table one here dot get selected j table one dot get selected row to select the row and to delete now I want a message to be printed so that we'll be able to know that the, the row has been successfully deleted get your option pan dot show message dialog very good we need to import this okay alt enter add imports for java swing and so on you just click on that okay that will be important and show this small s perfect 
Now let's see if it works. We run it once more. Add then C22 from China. We add 14. I'm just typing any random values. I add. And let's say I want to delete this row. I click on the row I want to delete and I click on delete. As you can see, the row has been deleted and the message is showing that the row has actually been deleted. So this means that our two buttons are working correctly.